What's up guys? It's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com and if you're watching this video that means we already have something in common. We both love good barbecue and that's perfect because here at Hey Grill Hey my whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. Today I'm showing you how to make my easy recipe for Brunswick stew. Brunswick stew is like if barbecue and stew had a comfort food baby. It's hearty, it's delicious, and it's the perfect way to use up all those barbecue leftovers. This recipe will serve about eight people. You're gonna need about an hour and 15 minutes to make this in total, 15 minutes of prep time and an hour to cook. This is one of those rare recipes where I'm not cooking outside on the grill, but a lot of the ingredients have already been prepped outside on the smoker. There's a long list of ingredients today, so let's get started. Let's start with our vegetables. You'll need one medium yellow onion diced, one red bell pepper diced, two stalks of celery chopped, a cup and a half of corn, two cloves of garlic, and three 14 ounce cans of diced tomatoes in the liquid. You'll need a pound of grilled chicken thighs that have either been chopped or shredded, a half a pound of pulled pork, and a half a pound of chopped smoked brisket. Six cups of chicken stock, one cup of ketchup, a half a cup of barbecue sauce. I'm gonna be using my everything sauce. You can find this in my store. You're also gonna need a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then your favorite hot sauce to taste. I've got a heavy bottom pan preheating over medium heat. To that, I'm gonna drizzle in about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then add in my onions, my bell pepper, and my celery. And you're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes until softened. It's starting to smell really good. Our vegetables are starting to soften. You can start to see the edges of those onions turning brown. We're gonna add in our minced garlic. Let that cook for just a minute until it's nice and fragrant. And then we get to add in all of our leftover barbecue meat. I've been cooking all week, saving up all of my leftovers in the fridge just for this stew. We're gonna add in some grilled chicken thighs my smoked pulled pork, and my chopped brisket. This is an incredibly hearty stew. This will stick to your ribs, keep you full all night long. This is the kind of stew we love at our house. Now that I have all my meat in, it's time to add all of our liquids. Our chicken stock. This is really gonna fortify our stew. Ketchup, because it's gonna give us a little bit of sweetness to our dish. And we're also gonna add some barbecue sauce, which is gonna do the same thing. Acidity, sweetness, it provides a good balance. Our frozen corn. We're doing frozen corn because Todd really hates the traditional Brunswick stew vegetable, which is a lima bean. So I swapped for corn but you can totally use lima beans if that's what you guys like. This is looking great. We need to add in our diced tomatoes. We are making a full pot of stew. Give this a quick stir. Make sure everything's evenly distributed throughout the stew. Don't forget your Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of your favorite hot sauce, pinch of salt, and a pinch of black pepper. Give that all a stir, and then you're just gonna reduce the heat to low. It almost seems like a chili, but instead of those chili powder seasonings or those Mexican spices, you're getting those classic American barbecue flavors. I'm gonna let this simmer for 45 minutes, come back and stir it every 10 minutes or so so it doesn't burn on the bottom. The goal here is to let this stew come together, tighten up, thicken, so it's really nice and dense. We're halfway through the cook. I'm giving the stew another stir. It's starting to thicken. I can smell all of those smoky flavors from the barbecue. They're actually leaching in to the broth. So good. Give our Brunswick stew another stir. I am dying to eat this because it smells so good. 
That tomato sauce has started to thicken and reduce. All of that meat is warmed through and so, so tender. I think it's about time to eat. I got you a big spoon Ooh, hey for big bites. It's hot. So this is great because I'm super picky with like leftover meats. You are. So this is like one of the only ways I just love it. It's so good. It's gonna be hot, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man. That's perfect, man. That was a slap the table kind of a bite. That's good. It's a little sweet. It doesn't have those lima beans in it. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Sorry if you like lima beans. I do not. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Todd and I are gonna sit here and wax poetic about this stew. <laughs> if you haven't tried Brunswick stew before, you definitely need to give this barbecue stew a try. It's so delicious. Great way to use up all those leftovers. Mm. And the whole family will love it. When you cook this recipe, leave a comment and let us know how it turned out for you. Better yet, snap a photo, post it online, and use the hashtag HeyGrillHey. That way Todd and I can see it, leave a comment for you, and cheer you on in your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero.